Good evening, humans. Tyrannosaurus Moth here, and tonight we're taking a look at the SH Monster Arts Monster X figure from Bandai. I have wanted this monster in figure form since I saw Godzilla Final Wars, and uh, it's finally here. So uh, does it measure up? Does it meet expectations? Well, let's talk about that. Let's do this. Aesthetically speaking, this figure is absolutely incredible and damn near perfect for my personal preferences. Uh, just they, they absolutely nail it. The sculpt here is beautiful. There are details everywhere. The striations on the kind of more muscular parts, the kind of bony armor has this really nice pearlescent kind of mid-gray sheen, almost like metallic looking. The eyes here, probably my favorite part. Uh, it's not, probably not going to come come across as well on camera, um, but if you have some like lights kind of shining out from the bottom, they just absolutely glow. It's incredible. Uh, just perfect shade of red paint for that. Uh, not only that, we get to the tail, tons of details here as well. Uh, and you can see they even did kind of some of the more, I guess, kind of skin style texture here towards the end. Looks amazing. Just very crisp paint all around as well. Um, you know, just, again, details everywhere. Not, doesn't, I've, I've, <laughs> pardon me. It could have probably had a wash here on some of the kind of bony armor parts, but, uh, you know, I just, I, I like it the way it is. Uh, as you can see, just very fine details as well. And everything looks very, very crisp. That's probably one of my favorite parts. And uh, yeah, just really gorgeous looking figure all around. Not much to really talk about when it comes to accessories here, but that doesn't really bother me, especially with like everything going on with obviously a lot of new sculpt and the engineering and all of that. So all we get for accessories are two pairs of hands right out of the box. We kind of get our standard relaxed hands, a really nice sculpt all around. And then we just get a pair of more clawed attacking hands. You can see the, the claws on the fingertips are definitely longer than they were on the kind of, I guess, default set over there. So uh, yeah, that's about it. That's accessories. For articulation, things are a little bit mixed here and we're gonna get into that right now. Uh, however, just right off the bat, I am able to get him into a freestanding back kick at least temporarily this has fallen down a couple times or at least kind of toppled over it's all safe here it's it's in a spot where it's not going to fall like far but you know that's that's pretty cool like it's not that it's just on that leg so that that's awesome that, that definitely gets points from me um you know and the mixed bag really just comes into that there are some loose joints and you know the the joints on monster arts from my experience now are definitely very interesting they're tend to be a little shallow, which doesn't help with some things. But uh, anyway, getting into the details, our head, we are on a ball joint at the top of the head and then there's something at the base of the neck as well. Um, so we actually get absolutely incredible down and then even a little bit of up, like not too bad at all. Uh, we actually don't get any tilt, which I'm surprised by. Maybe I need to heat this up a little bit, but uh, yeah, there's no movement on the side to side. Our two kind of side heads are on ball joints, so you can see those move all around, move back, forward. So you get all sorts of range over there to get out of the way of the head. Coming down to the shoulders, we have a butterfly joint. We have kind of a hinge that comes up to about here. Obviously, you're going to run into the armor. There's a little bit of limitation there. We do get bicep swivel. We have double jointed elbows, which are bringing us just past 90. Uh, we also get a little bit of rotation in those as well. Then we get ball joints at the hands, so we can go pretty much any way we want. Sorry about that lack of focus there. There we go. So you can see we're moving all the way around there. We get a ball joint in the diaphragm, a ball joint in the hips, or uh, part, sorry, pardon me, at the waist for this absolutely just gorgeous crunch. Not really anything back, however, and that's because we're running into the back fin. Uh, so that's to be expected. Uh, and we also get just a little bit of side to side. It feels very, very natural, so very, very nice there. For our legs, we're coming out about here if we go straight out. However, if you do a little bit of a twist, uh, you're definitely gonna get a little bit more range. So that's where we're running into the sculpt. We do have thigh swivel there as well. You can see that separate piece. We get double jointed knees, which are bringing us, it's again, just past 90. And our feet, we are getting some pretty nice point. Some decent forward and we get some rocker there as well then we move on to the tail and the tail is segmented here at the body here 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 
And finally, we get some ball joints here. And here's again, another kind of sticking point for me. And I saw another review that kind of pointed this out, um, that this last section comes out very, very easily. Uh, just, you know, again, as with a lot of monster arts, just very shallow um, socket for that joint. So it just pops out very easy. So be very, very careful, especially with this on your shelf because these end pieces come off as well. But uh, overall, just really fun articulation. Getting into size comparisons, here he is with some other SH Monster Arts. With some Hasbro and some Mattel. With some other imports. With some other monsters. Finally, with an articulated icons Oni and yours truly in human form as a Valiverse Action Force figure. So my final thoughts on the SH Monster Arts Monster X figure from Bandai is that this figure kicks ass. Despite a few joint issues, uh, it's still incredibly fun to pose and it looks positively gorgeous and is absolutely a presence on the shelf. So I definitely recommend this picking this up if you are just a fan of Toku and Kaiju and all of that in general. Uh, if you like Godzilla Final Wars, if you like the Godzilla universe as a whole, definitely worth your money. And uh, yeah, if that is the case, um, this is available on various online retailers, uh, including but not limited to Entertainment Earth. And uh, if you purchase it from that website uh, and use the code TSMOTH, you will currently get 10% off as well as free shipping on this and totally worth it. So uh, yeah, do that if that is of interest to you. So uh, thank you so much for watching. And I really hope you found this review informative and somewhat entertaining. If you did, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, all that fun stuff. All of it helps me and I appreciate it greatly. And uh, you know, please join me multiple times a week here on YouTube for various reviews of Toku, dinosaurs, monsters, and pro wrestling figures. And uh, yeah, so all that being said, uh, I hope you take care of yourself, take care of those around you, and most importantly, stay weird, Simeons.